Today, we're going to talk about one of Siege's toughest and most diverse operators, Castle. He can be one of the most helpful defenders, but also one of the most hurtful if he's used the wrong way. Castle is one of the best situational operators in Rainbow Six. He is the perfect operator for anyone with a strategic and flexible mind. You can reconstruct any defensive site into your own maze with the use of his panels to cut off lines of sight and create safe rotations into different areas of the map. To look at Castle's potential, we look to the famous SSG Rome on Clubhouse or a new meta hold on Bank's basement defense. His panels allow defenders to control areas that normally wouldn't be safe. Defenses can be extended and help delay time to create major advantages for the defensive side. But first, before we look into some setups, let's take a look at his kit so you can optimize your play with Castle. Castle is a two armor, two speed operator. You have two choices of primary weapons, either the UMP 45 or the M1014 shotgun. You have three choices of secondaries, either the 5.7 pistol, the M45, or the Super Shorty. He has two secondary gadgets, the proximity alarms and bulletproof camera. And his special gadget are four UTP-1 universal tactical panels. Ideally, you'll want to run the UMP45 with a 1.5 sight and a vertical grip. You'll want the longest barrel possible. Uh, you can boost the damage by 15% with the extended barrel buff. And you'll want to use the shorty as a secondary to blast some holes wide open. And equip the bulletproof camera as your secondary gadget so everyone can watch. Now let's take a look at some of the general tips for best use. When you're using your panels, don't use your panels entirely on outside doors and windows. If the attackers have a sledge, for example, they can easily clear all the panels without wasting much utility. Another common mistake is people will seal their teammates into the site. If you're castle, don't do this. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> I'll do one, you do the other. In order to run castle well, you need to make sure that you have a good flow for your team and that you're using the panels to cover lines of sight that you don't want to worry about. Don't feel obligated to use all your panels in prep phase. It's okay to keep one in your pocket for later in case you need to seal off a diffuser or rebarricade a window. Another good tip is that the panels break with nine hits. So you're able to quickly prep panels with eight hits and all it takes is one punch to escape. Another good useful tip is that if you break a panel with an impact or a C4, that does not get returned to castle. However, if a defender rips down a panel on the other side of the map or anywhere on the map, it gets returned to castle's pocket. Now let's take a look at some of the favorite sites to play castle in order to reshape the site and help win rounds. Remember, you're trying to help your team and not hinder their movement. So this should be one of the ways that you can make sure that your team doesn't get mad at you with your castle setup. Oh, nice. You beating oh. Andy! So let's start on Villa Kitchen. Put a panel on the pantry window. This stops a long angle into the site. Then make some feed holes in bikes and put a panel on the memo door. And it leaves you with two panels left while you make the rotates. It's really your choice where you want to put the last two panels. You can either help with vert or extend horizontally. Next up, we've got top floor on cafe. Put a castle on the freezer door and then make a rotate into piano. This allows you to freely move between the two rooms. Then you'll want to castle the stage window on the south side and castle the double door on cigar shop. This allows people to play in cigar shop freely Place a bulletproof cam near the default above this lamp, and it gives you a good sight line into Cocktail Heaven and the rest of the top floor. And obviously you have to make some rotates into freezer, into bathroom. Make some head holes by trash so you can stop a plant. Next, we're gonna look at the two setups on coastline. First, we're gonna look at hookah, and then next we'll look at kitchen. For hookah, you need the default rotate. You can place a bulletproof cam next to the rotate so it can see default plant. Make some feet holes and a small rotate into aqua. Open up the aqua hatch. Get the double window, the hookah window, the double door into aqua. 
and then the vip window for kitchen you'll make the default rotate this is a little bit different make a vault into the hallway place a castle on the courtyard window protect yourself from the roof make some feet holes all along blue this is for a bulletproof cam that's going to get you some nice angles into jungle into blue into office and of course in courtyard and the vip window above open the aqua hatch seal off the office door and the blue window make a rotate into sunrise seal off the sunrise double door reinforce the two blue walls and this allows you to hold down blue and sunrise and you can also have someone holding this hallway to see kitchen window and contest front door now at a border we've got a setup that you can use for multiple sites if you barricade the double door in the hallway and then make some head holes in break and set your bulletproof camera it gives you an angle onto east barricade the double door on cc the single window on cc and essentially you're going to be holding down cc so this can be used for either armory site or for customs you'll want to open up the exterior door for runouts and of course you want rotates into fountain and 90. and you always have the option to open the hatches to drop now on emerald plains you're going to want to make feet holes on the gallery wall use a castle on the lion window and then you'll head over to the archive side put a bulletproof cam to watch for a plant then you'll want to make a rotate into library and you'll castle off the library door into archives finish off your rotate and then you're going to use your last two castle barricades on the library window and then on the hunting window and this forces attackers to try to open those areas while you can hold down the library which can help deny a plant and you can hold a walk into the site by looking under the library door and shooting feet before they walk into the site now on chalet for a bar defense you can bring castle for the top floor always make sure to reinforce this bar hatch because it gives too much control to the site then you're going to want to castle both library windows the library double and the library single window and you can choose where to put your last two castles you also have a bulletproof cam that you can place wherever you please for this demonstration i'll just put the castles on the canine window and also on the ivy window make sure this wall is reinforced as well because you can get a very nice angle onto the library double as soon as they break your castle you can hold a pixel here and get easy headshots by having these windows castled as well you'll get a larger sound cue of when they're breaching now at a night haven labs we've got a hold for kitchen cafeteria where you'll play castle upstairs you'll make some head holes and rotates on this top floor but make sure you castle off the meeting window on the east side you make a rotate into meeting and connector and then you want to seal all four of these reinforcements in connector that way you can safely play upstairs most of the times they'll probably need a person to help you out with this you can also use a castle barricade on top lobby stairs that way you'll get a sound cue if they break it and then you'll use your last two castles on the electrical side so again you'll get a much louder sound cue if someone breaks in now after you've done this you can place your bulletproof cam wherever you need but you can also make vertical on 
the entryways into site. So here's in the cafeteria. Here's a nice long angle that you can get into kitchen. Looking over the counter. And you can get to the other site door. And if they do have site control and they're hiding near the beach chassis, you can make vert near the window. And if they have opened the breach, you can open above the breach. Now for bank on the top floor, this is a pretty common setup. You want to make head holes on the CEO wall. Use one of your castles between the sites and one of the castles on the double windows. Make sure you have a rotate so that way your teammates can rotate between the sites and they're not blocked off. Then make some head holes for top square. Obviously there should be rotates into janitor and meeting as well. Then use your next two castles on these two windows in Trump to make sure that you can't be seen from the front rappel. And hopefully your teammates have reinforced Kanto, top elevators. So then you can place a bulletproof cam here to watch the walk up on spiral and the hallway. Of course, when you're playing castle, you'll want to reinforce this wall as well. That way you can't just get wall banged from the windows. And you can watch top square walk in from here. And if there's anyone on repel, you can try to peek them, but you don't need to. And for the SSG roam on Clubhouse, we've got a bulletproof that you can place in sight to watch blue, long, and dirt, since everyone can move the bulletproof cams. But now we'll get into the roam. So you open the moto hatch, put a castle on the pool table door, make sure that you open up the con hatch as well, and then a castle on the stage door. This will let anyone roam freely there. Head upstairs, put a castle on the con window. Then you can make a vert hole here to watch the hatch. So if they have a Hibana, you can start shooting the pellets off. And then you can use your last castle on master bed. Normally, you're going to have walls reinforced upstairs on the CC wall and on jacuzzi wall. That way you can play a full extend and if you need to quickly drop back to site, you can just fall through construction hatch and through moto hatch. Now for the bank roam with your bulletproof cam, first you'll want to place it in garage. That way you can get someone to watch that. And then you're gonna use two castles by the printer room. So they'll have to burn utility to open those up. Then you're going to use your next two castles on electrical and the kitchen double. And then make a rotate into archives from admin. And of course, if you are getting pushed, you can always fall down the hatch. Obviously, you'll want to make a rotate in here as well. Generally, it's best if you have a duo that is roaming with you, holding the tellers and archives area while you hold open area as castle. You can see the easy flow while not having to worry too much about the attackers coming in from the areas that you've castled off. Generally, what you want to do is run a mute mozzie combo. That way you can stop as much intel. And of course, you can reinforce the hatches on the top floor as well, so they can't push you vertically when you're holding open area. And we'll finish off with some gameplay of Castle. These clips will demonstrate that he's a fun, versatile operator that you can play either as an anchor or a roamer. Downstairs, mud. The plant, uh, it, was a, shield here? it was a shield on the black door. Bring in packs. Legion. Uh, <laughs> no. She was shooting me anyway. That's Kazer down. On the black door. On the black door. Uh, four. Last operator standing. 20 seconds on the clock. Does not have the fuse. Planting A. Nice. I was about to say, like, he had barely had time to get to site. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm thinking about doing something silly. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm team player, I go back to site, okay? Are they coming to the lobby? Sledge is just in lobby. <laughs> I'm running for H. <laughs> I got him. I got him. Don't worry, guys. Oh. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? <laughs> it's so fucked and I'm, I'm scared. Right side, okay, <laughs> no, why are you stealing? <laughs> why did any of this work? <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> I'm picking up armor and then the guy next to me gets fucking shot. <laughs> if there are any strats that you enjoy using with Castle, please let me know in the comments below. I know I didn't get every single strat because Siege is such a dynamic game and Castle is a very versatile operator, but I hope I gave you a foundation if you are just starting Castle as an operator. Take care, guys. See you in the next video.